Okay, this is a logical reasoning question. I'm getting this from the specialized high school exam, and it's a good question. We can break it down um, because we're given six potted house plants, and they're in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are four varieties, and that means there are four types, and here they are. African violet, fern, ivy, and pothos. And there are two pots each of two varieties. That means two of these plants will have doubles and one pot each of the other two varieties. So two of these four types will have doubles and the other two, um, there's only one of each, so they won't have a double. And here's the information they give us. There are two ivy plants and exact, exactly one African violet. So ivy, ivy, and African violet. Okay. Two ferns are separated only by a pothos. So there are, I want to write down there are two ferns, and they're separated by a pothos. Okay. An ivy plant is next to the African violet. Or we already have that. The ivy is next to the African violet. A fern is next to the African violet. So we want to move this around a little bit. Um, oh, sorry. Actually, no, we have that too. The fern is next to the African violet. So they're going to ask us which house plants are at the end of the row. So it looks like so far, in this lineup right here, that the fern and the ivy are on the outside, and they give us that as a choice, but let's just read through them. We have a pothos and fern, fern and African violet, two ivy plants, and cannot be determined from the information given. Well, this setup worked for the problem, but um, we want to think about if we can have other setups that also work. One thing I want to do is cross out G. That can't be possible. Because the pothos can never be at the end because it's wedged between two ferns. If you remember, it says it right here. Two ferns are separated only by a pothos. So the pothos has to be between the two ferns and can never be on the end of a row. So we've already eliminated one of the choices. But let's, let's remember that the African violet needs to be next to a fern. I mean, that's what we've established. But the African violet could be next to this fern over here. So we would have a fern a pothos, a fern, an African violet, and then an ivy, and another ivy. So it looks like so far we haven't changed anything, right, because we still have the fern and ivy on the outside. So let's keep thinking, can we rearrange it another way? And we can. So we have a fern, a pothos, a fern, the African violet next to the fern, an ivy next to the African violet, but there's no reason we can't have another ivy or plant over here. And we could, again, rearrange these two plants over here, and we can have ivy, African violet, and then fern, pothos, fern, ivy. And these two also give ivies on the ends as well. They're, they're matches of each other, but these two give ferns and ivies. We don't know what's going to be in the end. So I'm going to choose K. And the reason this is is because they only tell us that an ivy plant is next to the African violet. And in all of these cases, if you look carefully, we always have an ivory next to the African violet. And we have that. And we know that a, f a fern is next to the African violet. right? And in each of these cases, we also have that. Fern, African violet, fern, African violet, and so forth. So this problem doesn't tell us enough. We would also need to know the location of this other ivy plant, which is being moved around each time. Um, that would really help us. All right, hope that helped.